And back here at home, the local nonprofit group Jewish Nevada hopes the return of the 24 hostages from Gaza is the start of brighter days. Friday's release marks the first swap laid out by a deal between Israel and Hamas for a temporary ceasefire. For Jewish Nevada, Stephanie Tuzman, the president and CEO, says there's a sense of relief for the hostages that are on their way home and worry for the rest. As for their next steps, they are continuing to raise funds for Israel. We're going to continue our work of supporting the greatest needs in Israel. We opened an emergency fund on October 7th, just after the attack, JewishNevada.org. You can donate there. The dollars go directly to Israel to support needs on the ground. We're fearful that the 13 hostages that were released today will need incredible care and support, psychological support, medical support, and we'll be taking care of those needs. Tuzman also tells Channel 13 Jewish Nevada will be hosting an event Tuesday at the Temple Beth Shalom with a survivor of the October 7 attacks.